Ladies and gentlemen, do you hate your life? Are you tired of the rigmarole regularity? Well, my name is Pastor Lord Williams, and I'm here to tell you everything can change with just three letters. G-Y-P. Brother Lord, what does G-Y-P stand for? Get your passport. All you gotta do is dial this number right here. 1-800-I-HATE-MY-LIFE. And if you don't got a phone, all you gotta do is type in Lord Williamson on Instagram and book a consultation now. I know you're on Instagram right now looking at all that ass they got on there. Uh-uh, go ahead, go see the ass. Go see the ass, all right? But first, you gotta book a consultation, and second, you gotta get your passport. Oh, I hate my life. Brazil. I want to... Right now, it is eight degrees where I'm at. And if you like me, you don't like the cold. Last night, I had a dream that my toes would be caressing the sands of a Brazilian beach. I had a dream that American people, Brazilian people, African people, people of all ages, races, and countries would be surrounded in a joyous occasion to parlay. And right now, it is time to make my dream a reality. All right, this is better, but it's not good enough. One more time, let's go. Okay, now this looks a little bit more like. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to the beautiful city of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Let's go. slow down a little bit. I feel like we're skipping steps here, all right, man? Whenever you're traveling outside of the country, one of the most important things is having a comfortable place to stay. And luckily, I picked the right place. So let me show you guys exactly where you're going to want to stay whenever you come to Sao Paulo. Very nice. All right, man, so we're going to start from the outside of my Airbnb, man. A dope area, a dope place. We are in Pinheiros, which is close to Via Magdalena, which is close to pretty much everything. So it's a busy street, super busy street. Everybody going to work, everybody doing their thing, man. Right here close to my Airbnb, you got multiple restaurants if you don't want to venture out and try new foods. We're right by Outback Steakhouse. Also, we're right by a steak restaurant. They have a hamburger restaurant on the opposite side. This is the technically the back of my building, and we are right by Hilton Garden. So, you know, definitely a lot of English-speaking people here. To get to my Airbnb, you have to walk through the Hilton Garden, and then you got to go to the opposite side. So let's go check it out. Then you got 
more restaurants through here. You got a sushi restaurant. I'm not sure what that restaurant is, but it's always lit. But the beautiful thing about my Airbnb is fully secure. Like, I mean, you gotta be the president to get in there, man. Shoe program. 23 hour lockdown. Watch how many times you gotta go through security just to get in. Offer if you have facial recognition to get in. Another facial recognition to get through. Then you saw we got the doorman there as well. So like just off the rip, you got, you got two facial recognitions. So we're gonna start off, we're on floor zero right now, and we're gonna go to one. As you can see, the top floor, they got the pool, the terrace, and the gym. And then uh, floor one, which we're about to go to now, they got the laundry mat and the co-working space. And also a place to party. So, laundry mat right there. They were working in the co-working space. Obviously, I didn't want to be too loud. You got the co-working space, and then right here where they're cleaning up at, they got the party spot. And I came down here the last weekend, and it was a bunch of people there just drinking, chilling, and turned up pretty much. Ciao. I mean, you really got everything in here. As you can see, I'm rocking my new shirt. You know what I'm saying? I cut the sleeves off of this one. Long story, but I'll give you all the details on that a little bit later. I just left the gym already. I'm looking kind of brawling. I'm not gonna lie to you. Anyways, man, we're going up to floor 24. We're gonna check out the pool. Super dope spot if you want a lot of convenience where you don't have to leave for any. You got, you got a mini store right here. I didn't spend a little bit too much money here. I had to go to the market because these are a little bit of an upsell, but you're paying for the convenience, really, man. Another facial recognition, man. Then they got the workout area. Pretty basic workout area. If you are big into working out and you would like a full gym, this is kind of like a gym where you can just do a little bit of maintenance here and there. The terrace, you walk up. And then you got one of the dopest pools that I've seen by far. People out here working, there's Wi-Fi everywhere out here. And then boom, got a view of one of the biggest cities in the world. But yeah, man, definitely have everything you need. Pretty much it comes out to about 50 something dollars, maybe $60 a night. Like I said, I'm not necessarily paying for the Airbnb. I'm paying for the amenities in my Airbnb. And now we're going to my floor. Just to show y'all a little bit of the room. I mean, I really think we're pretty much staying in Hilton. This is just like the Airbnb side. Um, here, you got a lock. You got a lock right there. You just put your code in. Can't show y'all that. Excuse the mess. Walk in, got your TV that swivels around both ways. Um, then, you know, just your little regular bed. You know what I'm saying? The shower. You know, bathroom. Uh, I thought at first they didn't have anything to cook on, but they do have a stove right there and some pots and stuff. The food around here is so cheap. I literally have nothing in my refrigerator. You know what I'm saying? Damn! Y'all ain't never got two things that match. <laughs> Neither y'all got Kool-Aid, no sugar, peanut butter, no jelly, uh, ham, no burger. Damn! Then you got the view, man. 
pretty much I got everything you need, man. That being said, I'm about to hop in the shower. We're gonna change real quick, and then we're gonna go survey the scene and see what we have around us. After we eat, man, we're gonna come back to the hotel, get ready for tonight, and then we're gonna turn up and go crazy, man. They say Sao Paulo has the best nightlife, and I'm here to see if it's good enough for Lord Williamson, man. Let's go. We are finally out and about. Blessed to be here, man. First thing I do whenever I get settled in after I unpack all my belongings, man, I head straight to the block, man. And what I mean the block is just the block that I actually live on because you got to know where you're going and what's around you if you need something. And we're in an area called Pinedos. So the two areas I was looking at was Pinedos and Via Magdalena. Um, Pinedos, you can definitely tell, is kind of like I wouldn't even say a business district, but I would say like a, a, a busy part of town. Right now we're looking for some cheap food. Let's eat. It's up. Happy to be here, man. I'm about to give you all a rating real quick. Pause this one. They have good meat. Pause. What kind of shit was that? You know what I'm saying? Quality meat here. And in the States, they got meat with ass shots. One thing about Brazil, though, when you're walking along these side streets, you gotta watch out for people on the motos because they will come and snatch your shit. Real quick before we get back into the video, and I wanted to share something with y'all near and dear to my heart. And I went a whole year being a YouTuber, going here, there, and everywhere, and we not stopping, man. That being said, I came out with my own merch. I came out with the I Won't Be Here Long Tour. On the front of the shirt, it says I Won't Be Here Long. And on the back of the shirt, it has each date and city and country that I went to when I was travel vlogging, man. And on the bottom, it has my slogan on it. I don't know if y'all guys know. You know that I'm just trying to put some paint where it ain't, man. If you do want one of these shirts, make sure you hit me up on Instagram, DM me your size, DM me your address, and we can work something out, man. Anyways, man, we're about to get back to the video. Next couple of scenes I got are super fire, and I know y'all want to see that nightlife in Sao Paulo, man. But appreciate you guys for rocking with me, man. Peace. <laughs> Came out here to give me a drink before I start the night, man. It's going to be a good night. I can feel it. And I just went live on my YouTube, and one of my subscribers hit me up and was like, yo, I'm in Sao Paulo. I can show you around. Uh, I had to vet them real quick. You gotta watch out for these characters, man, because sometimes they be weird on us. But this one, he seemed cool, man. So we're gonna check out a spot, we're gonna check out a club, and uh, see what's going on, man. My God, what's good, man? Real talk, you pulled up real quick. This was it. Alright, man. So I linked up with my guy, Kimba. Shout out to him, man, because uh, we linked up. I definitely thought you was a weird you good? You all right? You all right? Real, real, good. real Nigerian love, man. You been out here for how long in Brazil? I've been here for about four months now. But what's your favorite thing about living out here? You think? Uh, man, the food, the people. Yeah. Um, and this is different, man. And I feel like this is like this chill. They're very chill. You yeah. Know? Facts. So it's like, and you it's like different from where I've been. Like, Cause you've been a lot of places, man. So if you had to rank countries, you you'll say Brazil is a top country. Yeah, What's another country you stayed in for a long time? Colombia. Colombia. And I could definitely see, guys. I can definitely see why he likes it here, man. It's definitely chill. You got your own type of lane. But we're going to show y'all tonight. We're going we gonna to get into some shit tonight, man. We just had our first little pre-drinks. So we're going to go turn up, man. Y'all stay tuned up to the club now. And I hear I hear rap music. Where we at with it, man? Where we at? We at Candy? At candy Bar Restaurant. And tell me what this is like. It's like a hip-hop spot. All right, we're going to see what it is, man. Let's go.
so we just left the little the first spot man and the only reason we leaving is because my home girl was like yo come through uh i'm gonna be with some people so we're gonna go check it out but if not we going back to that spot because it was definitely getting lit and we was getting some looks man when you when you tall dark and handsome you know <laughs> it's inevitable i don't even know my name no more they calling me handsome <laughs> You gonna win out here in Brazil for sure. Hey, lucky we don't know Portuguese. Uh, can't be. What's up, Doc? What's up? Hola. What's up? What's up? It's my girl. Leo Smith. Hey. Brazilian beer. Brazilian girl. Blood. Crazy. Yeah, blood, blood, blood. You want beer? What's up, man? How you doing? You good? Came up. Came up. With Camila, you don't have to wait in line. Yeah. 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 Appreciate you, big dog. at this moment that he knew he fucked up. For the one time, I'm the type to two dimes at the same time. Scoring from the three like I'm Steph Curry. They both thought I had time, now I'm in a hurry. I can do the Snapchat, what's your info? What's your sign, where you from, what you into? I'm a freaky ass nigga, need a nympho. And if you thirsty, here's a bottle, take a sip though. Waterfall, don't use your lips though. If you gon' use them, you should use them on the dick. And if you love a better cover, get your bitch, bro. Cause I could be a sneaky link, I could tiptoe. I'm in the club, hella ones tryna tip hoes. Trey Millie in here with a mask and a grip though. Cause the zip bows get you lit though. Cigarette flow, big facts, turn you big packs, rather flip though. Sky niggas, we them fly niggas, not them bimbos. And if you got a problem, we can fix those. With the grip bows. Grip bows, let me see you shave some, use your hips though I like a thicker small waist, let me grip those I make a fat pussy wet, let it drip though Grip bows, grip bows, let me see you shake some, move your hips though What the f-